So over here on the left hand side, you can see that I got some imported media right here. If we were to go to cloud, then you can see all of the imported media over here as well. And no matter what the project, even if you were to uh, start a new project, you will still have access to these media files from over here. So now in order to start editing it, it's, uh, it's time to arrange them in timeline. So to do that, over here, you can see that I have this San Francisco video file right here. To arrange them in timeline, you can go around and press the plus button right here, which brings into the, uh, it to the timeline, as you can see right here. Another way you can bring out media clips onto the timeline is by going around and by clicking and dragging. And this is basically what video editing is. You need to go around and bring in um, a video and audio clips right here as well. So uh, whatever audio you have, you can go around right here and then you can bring it out right here just like this as well. So it's downloading as you can see right here and that's the audio right there. So let's just go around and then bring that in as well. Let's press the plus button over here just like this and then zoom out. So let's just go around, press the plus button, and there you go. There's the audio as you can see right here. So you can add in background audio right here and so forth. So I'm just going to go around and delete it because I don't want to play the audio right now. And just want to focus on the video. And another thing that you can do is you can bring in images as well. Let's keep it on the top right here. So this is the video clip as you can see, and this is image on the top right here. With the image, you can resize it out however you like right here, just like this. So this is the image, and now what you can do is you can resize it, place it wherever you want, and along with your video, you'll be able to see the image right here, just like this. With the videos as well, what you can do is you can go around and then resize it out as you can see right here. So the parts of the video are cut. So this is what you have. You can go around, uh, cut out right side part of the video, left side, and you can go around and click and drag it to get back the parts of video as you like as well, just like this. So that is what you have. You can go around, click and drag it out, get back the video parts out, and so forth. And as I go around and arrange it, you can see that it does not actually let me leave any gap right here, but snaps it into place. And that is how uh, the timeline actually works by default inside of CapCut. So over here, you can also zoom in to see more time ranges right here or zoom out right here as you like to see all of the portions of the clips right here. And that is how you can go around and arrange out media contents in timeline inside of CapCut. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.